Welcome to the Conference Center in Chesapeake, Virginia. Welcome to the finals of the 1997 U.S. Open Nine Ball Championship. For today, for $25,000, Earl Strickland and Efren Reyes get together, probably the two best pool players in the world. I'm your host, Tom Kelly, and the two gentlemen with me know all about the game. The fellow that won this event twice, Nick Varner, the little colonel from Kentucky, and over on my far left, a guy who almost won it. The year that Varner did, Kim Davenport from Modesto, California. You won it back-to-back. -back. What were the years? Uh, 89 and 90. And what year did you almost win it? 89. Uh, how about that? So we got a little family gathering getting together here. We have got two guys who both posted 11-8 victories in semifinal competition. They were tough matches, interesting matches. And they come into this probably considered to be the two best players in the world. Give me a thought about Strickland. Uh, well, Earl, uh, the last uh, matchup between these two players, I remember the World Championship in uh, 1994 in Las Vegas, and uh, Earl played one of the best matches I've ever seen uh, in my life. And uh, Strickland, Reyes, it just doesn't get much better than that. We have seen Reyes compete for this. He won it three years ago, but he's been in the finals almost every year for the last four. The guy from Manila can play more than just a little bit, Kim. Oh, well, there's no doubt about it. I'll tell you what, this is a, just a promoter's dream here in uh professional billiard tour specialty putting great players on television and seeing great pool well, i'm looking forward to it and i'm excited it is the oldest event in the pro billiard tour 27 27 22 years in a row the 22nd tournament and of course it has had an international field and a field bigger this year than ever before almost 200 competitors it has been a very long tough arduous campaign you had to be almost kind of like an iron man you were playing at eight in the morning and one o'clock in the morning it was a tough week wasn't it Sure was. With this big a field, the match is really stretched out uh, all day long and uh, most of the night, too, Tom. Well, without further ado, I'm anxious to see these two best players in the world get together, Strickland and Reyes. So if you're all set, we'll have them up here. We'll have the lag for the break and get it underway for the 1997 U.S. Open Nine Ball Championship. Stay tuned. Pro Billiards Tour Incorporated presents the 1997 U.S. Open Nine Ball Championship. Sponsored by Q-Master Billiards. Brunswick Billiards, world leader in billiards since 1845. And by the Chesapeake Conference Center and the City of Chesapeake. And by Mayuchi, the custom choice of more pros than any other Q. So it's Earl Strickland and Efren Reyes here in the finals. We're at the Chesapeake Conference Center here in Chesapeake, Virginia. Now we'll have the lag. That's Strickland on the left, Reyes on the right of your screen. And, of course, the lag to see who's going to get the opportunity to break first. The most important move, of course, if you're a pool player, you know that. We'll see how it turns out. Both of these men struggled for some time in their semifinal matches. It's going to be... Strickland with the opportunity to break first. Reyes was giving it a little bit of a push, but to no avail. We'll run down the rules that govern this nine ball competition for you. As you saw, we lag for the break. The player must break from the box. It's an optional push out. Any foul is a ball in hand. Three consecutive fouls. They have lost the game. Players must hit the lowest numbered ball first and in succession. And of course, it's a race to 11. So Strickland, who has been five times the world champion, three times the winner of the U.S. Open, will break first. Reyes, for four consecutive years, has been in the finals of this event. Lost to Rodney Morris a year ago. He lost to Reed Pierce two years before that. And three years ago, he won it. So he is no stranger to this kind of competition. And he and Strickland are not strangers to one another. They have battled competitively, not only here in the United States, but around the world. Strickland made the uh, four ball. Looks like he almost made the three ball, didn't he? Well, what he has here, he yeah. two ball into there, go to the rail, come over, shoot the two in the side. I believe that's what he's going to try to do. Not much room there between that end rail and that five, is there? No, he could, he could also come off and, and try to bust the two and the six up. Brooklyn is not only one of the best players you'll ever see, but he is one of the quickest players. Has that six ball got a chance to go in the corner, or is he going to probably play a bank here? Well, he might play a bank, Nick, I think. 
Looks like he tried to bust him up. Banked it beautifully. He will not waste much time, and especially with the table set as this one appears to be, he's able to roll right through this first rack. It's don't take him off. Deep breath. No, it won't. Nice position on the seven, the eight, and the nine. And it would appear that uh, the Earl of Strickland is off to a one nothing advantage here in the race to 11. He had a very good semifinal win over John Horsfall of Canada. Jose Perica was beaten by Reyes. It is one nothing Strickland as a nice crowd looks on here at the convention center in Chesapeake, Virginia. The race to 11, the winner gets $25,000 and the loser, 12500 Strickland back to the table now to break. He leads one game to none. Well, he won the lag there and broke and ran out. That's what uh, you really want to do. You win the lag, you take advantage of it. One ball narrowly missed going on the side pocket. Well, if he can get the one on the side, looks like he has a shot at it. Looks like he might take a 2-0 lead if he can pocket the one. Yeah, look, it looks like the key here is... Uh, making this first shot and getting position on the two. Which he apparently has done without any problem. As we look down from overhead, two ball, three balls sitting there waiting. Pauses for a moment, which is a little uncharacteristic of Verone. He's very quick, like a guy who was double parked. He really gets on with it in a hurry. Kick that six out of the way, and he's got position on the three. He's got a pretty nice table to work with there. Yeah. I don't know if he's going to shoot, roll it up and shoot the five. Yeah, he just tried to roll it up. See, he put himself out of, out of position there when he had that. Well, here, I don't know what he's going to do. He's, I think he's going to cut it he, in the corner. You think he's going to cut it in, Nick? The tough thing about that shot is uh, position on the six. Uh, <clears throat> going back and forth with the cue ball. Uh, two or three rails, it's tough to get on that same side of the table with the six. Well, I guess that's what he done, but look here, now he's left himself in virtually no shot. Well, I guess he can go ahead and he, cut the six in, too, again. If he cut the five in, he can make the six. That's think, for sure. I think what I would do here is just uh, try to come off the eight if you can't avoid it. Oh, he could avoid it. Yep. So, he's in good position here. Just bounce off the rail for the eight, and... Uh, Looks like he's going to start off with a two racks, uh, two nothing lead. I think Earl's looking forward to this match because Ephraim and Earl played a match, I understand, in Hong Kong about five or six months ago where it was a $100,000 challenge match, winner take all. and uh, First one to 120. 120, mm -hmm. a long session, and I guess that uh, Ephraim beat him right at the end. Two nothing, Strickland with a quick lead over Ephraim Reyes. Here in the finals of the 1997 U.S. Open Nine Ball Championship. We're in Chesapeake, Virginia. Big crowd on hand. It's been an amazing tournament. As we told you, over 180, nearly 200 entrants from all over the best, magnificent international field. Reyes, though he's down 2 nothing, is the only member of the tournament field to be here in the finals without a defeat. He was unbeaten throughout the entire week, played brilliant, brilliant pool. And now he's up against Strickland, who had one loss. And, of course, in this double elimination tournament, when they all started out, why he had to regroup from that, but he did. Well, he hasn't had no problem making balls on the break. I must say, when they played in the semifinals, uh, a cold front has come in since then, and uh, the table is playing very dry. They're dry as a, the table's dry as a bone, and uh, it's playing like it's supposed to play. Tournament director Scott Smith racking the balls. And this time he comes up empty, which is going to send Reyes to the table. And this looks like it's a pretty good rack. Uh, one ball up the corner, two ball down here at the bottom. We'll see what the magician from Manila is able to do. Well, it's kind of a tough opening shot uh, for the first. Uh, this will be Efren's first shot in the match, and he's down 2 nothing, and he knows he needs to make this one ball and uh, get position on that, too. And uh, uh, I think this is an important shot for him in the match here. Sure is, Nick. I'm sure you're right. 
Because Earl, was a like he, he looks yeah. like. Uh, Careful on that bounce. Ooh, did he hook himself? Yeah, the position was real tough. He's right there behind that eight and nine, and. Uh, Yeah, he's in trouble there with that. In fact, uh, hitting the two ball, he may have to come uh, two rails here. I don't know if he can shard it up enough for one rail. He may have to hit the end rail and then hit the two ball going the short way. Yeah, it looks very difficult here, Nick. He's going to have to come up here. He can come up here and come this way, three rails. Looks like that's what he's going to do. Well, he's one of the best at a kick shot. Oh. That's Just what he tried it. to do, yeah, but he missed it. Which means it'll be ball in hand for Earl Strickland, who already has a two-game-to-none advantage. And back to sitting down goes Reyes, scratching the top of his head as if to say, how did all that happen? Well, this shouldn't take long here. He'll have to shoot the three in the side and draw it over and shoot the four in the other corner. Get straight in, shoot the five back in the side. So the far, position's beautiful for right. Strickland here. The only difficulty might be the seven. But if he gets on that side of the table on the rail, there's no really no problem. Yeah, I think the key is just to be able to get uh, right. where you can cut that seven in the corner and go back and forth or come up for the eight. He pushed the eight down. Now, that might make position a little tough. He may have to come the other way. Yeah, that's what he's going to do is go over to the right side of the table. He doesn't seem to be bothered by anything, just uh, point and push. Well, he may end up close to the rail here. He wants to be off the rail a little bit, and uh, he's going to play that eight in the left-hand side. And he got the cue ball off nice. He may have to go all the way down to the end rail and back up. Looks like he's going to go up 3 nothing in the race to 11. And for Efren Reyes, he's had one opportunity, made one ball, and is going to be down 3-zip. Earl Strickland, a man on a mission, 3 nothing. He leads in the race to 11. Strickland from Greensboro, North Carolina. Having a big time for himself here in the finals of the 1997 U.S. Open Nine Ball Championship. So Strickland has had things all his way. Reyes put one trip to the table, made the one shot he took, hooked himself, unable to continue, and Strickland ran out the rack. Strickland had the opening break and ran the rack, so he's up 3 nothing. Makes the one ball on the side. Boy, from um, when we saw him in the semifinals against uh, Horsfall to now, he is really doing well on the break. Horsfall made one ball in the entire match in the race to 11 as he lost 11-8. And uh, Strickland's having good success with the break. He might play this two off the five. Nine balls in that cluster as well. well he said he didn't need to play it off the five. He just got it in. Well... At first glance, I've got to tell you, it looks like he's at the top of his game, doesn't he, Nick? Yeah, his uh, rhythm, rhythm and tempo is really uh, looks good tonight. Uh, now he's turning to the crowd, now looking for a bridge. Here's how Earl advanced into this championship. He beat Roberts, Basovic, Bowman, Fix, Bowman again, Dalton, a very tough match, Linning, a horse fall in the semifinals. He only lost one match, and that was to Horsfall. Came back and avenged that in the semifinal competition. Now, Earl's got a hard shot here, pocketing it a five. This is not an easy shot, and uh, the position's not so hard. But there's a lot of up and down. He's got to go all the way up and down the table on all these last few balls. Well, he hasn't made an easy shot yet, has he? He's made him look easy, I'll he tell you him. that, He's and right. he just gave himself a problem as he rolled that eight right up between the cue ball and the six. And he stands looking at it, shaking his head. What kind of a shot has he got here, Tim? Well, he's just going to have to come up here and go one rail, or maybe come into this rail and, and hit it and try it here in the corner. Are you telling me it looks tougher than it is? 
Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. After but, all of that. I think he's left him maybe a bigger there. Well, he's very happy to have left him that shot from that angle where he was. Well, I don't know how Reyes feels about it, except he's got to be happy just to be up at the table. He hasn't had a chance, but at one ball, he made that. And so far, trailing 3 nothing, he hasn't been able to do anything. Not had the opportunity to, and I don't know how this is a great chance. Well, I don't think it's his favorite shot. No. If he were to make a list of them, it's not uh, the nine ball straight in hanging on the edge of the hole, huh? Can he cut that ball in the right pocket, Cam? It's hard to tell from here. It uh, looks like he can. Position will be difficult if he's cutting in the right-hand corner. Yeah, he missed it a mile. He tried, but, boy, that's a hard shot. Yeah. was indeed. Now will the six go by the eight? I don't believe so. I think he'll have to play the eight here. Either play the eight or play safe, and I don't really see him, uh, him playing safe. Do you, Nick? No, not with a 3 nothing lead. I don't think safety's going to be in his mind here. Boy, I tell you, Reyes is really having some tough luck. He's been at the table twice, made one ball, and had a shot that was all but impossible. He's down 3 nothing in the race to 11. And this match could be over before Reyes really gets into it. He made the 8. He got the 8 a little thin, and he's a little thin on the 6. I don't think he's just going to cut this ball into the corner. And... Uh either run into the balls down here to stop it. Nick, what do you think? I think he's going to play for, to run into a ball. I think I'd try to go right between them. He ran into it. There it was. I tell you, Reyes has got to wonder um, what black cloud just settled over his head. He's been to the table three times, made one ball, and this is the second impossible shot he's had in this in this rack. Let's see how he's going to do this. He's either going to go one real, he's either going to go here and hit it in the face, or he's going to go here, rail first, and then kick it coming back off. Well, it's an easy kick to hit the ball, but it's a tough kick to make the ball. Right. He has to be careful not to kick it and go underneath it too far, because then he'll come off the six and scratch. Well, I scratching might be the the least of his problems. You got to do something here to kind of stem the flow against him. Kicking and hitting it would be one thing. Making it would be even better for him. You scratch called he it, did. Cam. You called the scratch. And he's now, it would appear with ball in hand, Reyes is headed for a 4 nothing deficit to open up this race to 11. In about four seconds. That's how it'll take. Yeah. So Reyes has not had a real opportunity at the table. Strickland has been overpowering. And four straight games, Strickland taking a 4 nothing lead in the race to 11 in this 1997 U.S. Open 9-Ball Championship. Earl Strickland off and running. He leads 4-0 in the race to 11. The corner ball went right in. Let's see if he's going to get a shot. No, I think he snuckered on the one. Well, he's breaking the balls like uh, we've seen in the uh, semifinal match, how Perico was breaking them off into the rail and into the stack. Seems to be working. If I was Ephraim, if I win a game, I think I would have to try to go to that break. Well, winning a game for Ephraim, you know, how about getting to the table and getting a chance to make two or three balls to see if you could win? He's been to the table three times. He's made one ball. He's had two shots. were totally impossible. Well, I have to think he will get to the table before it's all over. Earl, well, I'm thinking Earl might roll out to a jump shot here, but uh, maybe not. Tough row out here. He's, he's going to roll out to a jump shot. That's what he's going to do. No, I'm going to roll out. You know, I don't know if he'll jump it, but he's he's rolled out to a hook. Did you see that there? Look at the angle on this. I think if, that if he'll Efren, get us back. If Efren lets him shoot that, he's just going to jump it right over. Because Efren's not the greatest at jumping balls. Well, what would you do if you were a rat? I think he's going to let him shoot it. Yeah. I Earl's, think I'd go back and sit down. Earl's going to uh, elevate his cue. 
Hop over the eight, make the two, and draw back for the four. How's that? You've already got him making the two before he makes the one, huh? Well, or the four? Well, Earl made this shot pretty famous, really. He uh, really started shooting with uh, accuracy, and a lot of the players are shooting it now, but he really, really started making it the shot to shoot. Look at this, another roll. Well, we'll see if Reyes can get any kind of a break here. He cannot get a good shot to start with. No, that's, that's he really point. hasn't. Seven balls got one pocket apparently covered. Eight balls got the other one. Efren Reyes is the only player in this tournament that is undefeated through all of the competition. You see there all of his wins. The toughest one was against fellow Filipino Bustamante. That was a magnificent match. But in the early going, he was just unbeatable. And he's trying now to get up off the floor. He's down 4 nothing to, Eric, uh, to uh, Earl Strickland. And he's left Strickland rather tough here. Well, that was a great shot there to uh, find the ball in the center of the table uh, and put... Uh Earl's going to shoot a little mass A here, I believe. Uh, he could jump the ball again, but I think this little mass A hit the bottom of the rail, knocked the one up back down table where the uh, cue ball was. He didn't really want to make that, but he'll take it. If it don't go on the side, it's down there by the 7C, and he has a good chance of having snookered. So I thought it was a magnificent shot. I guess. Sure it was. <laughs> you mean to say he just lucked that in? Yeah. I think when, I don't know, Earl's asking Scott something here. Asking, yeah. Having a discussion with Scott, and I don't know what about. Well, Earl's either going to shoot this shot. Take another, another look at this. This is unbelievable. It appeared for a moment that Reyes had him tied up. Kicks it off the rail and in to the side. This is the four. Yeah, that was a hard shot. I wonder what Earl said there. Uh, I don't know. He was he missed up ball to Scott. He missed up ball by a country mile, didn't it? Well, Reyes is coming to the table, and everybody's applauding now, hoping that the great champion from Manila can get out with it. Boy, the crowd becoming a bit raucous here, really. Huh? Well, they don't want to see a blowout. They want to see a close match. And this really isn't an easy shot to start out either. I mean, you know, please, just make one shot. Need one hanging in the hole. Look at, look at that. See, did you see his body move? Yeah. It's very difficult to win that first game. Well, where can I, Earl play this one now? I think he's going to shoot the ball, uh, play the four ball, and play it down, play it here and right there, and try to leave the cue ball right here. Mm -hmm. I think he's going to try to play a safety here. Why I wouldn't can, he cut it in this lower left corner pocket and go two or three rails for the five? Well, he, he might do that also. I think he's going to, Nick. No? No, he well, tried to cut, cut it, it in the, the other, other way, one. and now he's left this table to where it would appear that Reyes can get back up and do something about well, Tom, uh, getting in the game. Well, Tom, Reyes has got a real tough shot here. Uh, that five's in a real bad position. Uh, uh, those two balls really got it blocked out. Well, what he needs to do is, is shoot it here and make it come off the rail and get about right here so he can shoot the five in the corner. He needs I to think get... what he's got to do first is make that ball and well, then get on from there. Well, I think he's going to make this first one. That's no good. Better hurry. That's no good. That's got to go. No. I don't know why. I thought he should have come off this rail back. Whoop. Excuse me. I thought he should have come off the rail and back here and then back over here. It would have been a much easier shot than trying to go around three rows like he did. I think what he was worried about with that, Kim, is this ball is almost in the path he needs to go so he'd be sure that he finishes short of the side. He don't find the side pocket. I think that ball's blocking the path. I think he's afraid if we went that way, he might find that side pocket because he had to clear that ball. Well, he's not all that bad of shape. I mean, he, he don't have to kick or nothing. I think he'll just probably... Uh well, I don't know what he's really going to do. He has a couple of options, but... Uh, like what? Well, he can't really shoot the five back down table because of the eight and nine, unless he gets the cue ball behind the eight and nine, because it's going to be... There he goes. I'll tell he you what, yeah. what a great shot that was. Well, mm -hmm. I don't know from this angle. Uh, yeah, that five ball is... Earl's going to put this in the air. Let's get ready for a big jump shot here. Wouldn't be surprised if he makes it. 
That's for sure. It was close. Look at the cue ball. Look at the five. These players are getting away with murder. Strickland's left him very tough again. He's got a tough shot here. Can he cut it uh, past that seven and make it? I believe so, but that's, he, he hasn't really had a lot of good shots to start with. Has no. he? For him trying to make this, I don't know. He, just, he might have to jump start himself and just cut one in like that. He decided to play safe. Yeah. And he didn't get that either. Well, I don't know. Well, I think Eric will see a piece of it. I could be wrong. And I don't think he can see enough of it to play cross side. Well, he might just ram it in the corner. If he gets back on the other side, if he misses, he could have a save. We couldn't even say it. Oh, uh, there it is. Kick it back, and he's going to... He scratched, which is going to give Reyes the ball in hand. I think Efren's beginning to wonder if he's ever going to win a game this match. Well, he's got a golden opportunity now, I think. He's, well, if, uh, the best opportunity he's had is down 4 nothing. If he don't win this game from here... Uh, I really don't give him much chance. What do you, if you can't run five balls with ball in hand, what do you think? This is almost a must, isn't it, Nick, with a score like it is? Chris oh, is. yeah, it sure is. He's got to win this Look game. what he done here. Oh, do you believe that? Almost scratch. Look what he did there. Mm. Well, he's a little shaky. Back to his um, semifinal win over Jose Perico. Uh, Perica, they really had a tough time just getting underway. They were giving away with scratches and misses and bad right. plays and shots that were missed. First four or five games were just uh, almost a joke the way they were giving them away. So Efren may have some problems getting jump started here. Well, it's the nerves, you know, U.S. Open finals. Well, he won it three years ago, and he's this is the fourth year he's been playing in the finals right. for the championship. Well, he How about that? Right. He finished second two years in a row. You know, that's weighing on his mind now. Yeah. He's losing, you know, so all that comes into play. Well, he's down 4-1, but the one is a big one. Like getting olives out of a bottle, you know. The first one's always the toughest, and Strickland's up 4-1 now, but Reyes is uh, going to be back at the table for the break. All right, that's Scott Smith tapping away, setting the balls in there so that everybody is uh, satisfied. Reyes waiting to break. Why he does that, for you that don't uh, know, that you, the balls need to be really tight and frozen all against each other, so it gives it a better rack. Well, I'll tell you what, when you're behind, don't make a ball on the break. Yeah. It seems like it's going to be a long night. Well, this is the difficult uh, rack. If you look down there, you have the three, the four, and the seven all together right in this area. And uh, it's not an easy shot just to start out on the one either. So they might play a few safes here. We're all decided to go ahead and shoot at it. Maybe. Kick the two ball out in the open. Well, he's really got a hard shot here. Mm. I would opt for him to play safe and put the uh, cue ball down behind the five. Just try to put the cue ball down here and just shoot the two back up here. Cue ball come off here and slide down here. He hasn't played safe yet. And yet the last couple of shots he shot the last two games, he really missed them by a long way. So Defense is a big part. Earl, really, he uh, he's a shot maker, though. He likes the offensive game. So when you shoot him like that, why not? Mm-hmm. That was a really nice shot. He might be able to play this ball on the side. And the four, where would he end up putting that? Uh, I think four he's and going seven. to have to go in the corner. He'll come back across the table if he shoots a three, I believe, and then shoot the four-seven combination. Yeah, it's too thin for the side. I think he's going to have to go back and forth. He might be looking to play safe. He could. No. Oh. He you went into the four. I don't think he was looking to play safe, but he's left it hanging right there in the pocket. And Reyes now with an opportunity to get right back into this. He's trailing 4-1. Well, that, that's a big door right there. 5-1 to one or 4-2. Wow. to two. Mm. 
it's almost a must for Rays to get out here. Well, he won that first game, so I think that, you know, he's he's more or less settled down. But now that I see this, this really look, look at the intensity in Earl's eyes. Mm -hmm. He knows Ephraim has a tough shot coming up here. When you're a player and you're sitting in your chair, and you can tell what the other player's doing, you can see the position, the angle. You know if the guy's hit a good shot or a great shot or a mediocre shot. So he knows that Ephraim has to do a little something here to get back on the five, even though it is in the pocket. Both players seem to be a little... Uh, I don't know. I don't want to say uh, disoriented, but they're kind of a little out of their mode. You know, Ephraim's kind of, uh, you know, scratching his head and, and doing little uh, little things that I don't usually don't see him do. Look at that little oh, shot there. Shot. Is that a classic shot? Time. Yeah, but look what happened. Look at down here, right here in the table, the sixth and the seventh. He didn't think about that, or he really, I don't know what a shot he made. But uh, it's very unfortunate. There's only really two places the six will go. I don't believe it'll go by the seven. I'll take another look at the shot pulled off by um, Efren Reyes. Nice little carom right off the seven. Coming back down, looking to bust up that six and seven Too much combination. Spin. You saw that. Yeah, that was wonderful. Spin off the seven ball. Well, he's going to try to, uh, Nicky, what do you think? Cut the six thin. Six will go behind the nine. It's in the cue ball down table. Or else go the cue ball behind the nine. There you go. Actually, oh, might be able to hit the edge yeah. of this and uh, yeah. take Ephraim behind the eight. Earl can Earl can actually uh, have a chance to make this ball on the side. I do believe. Can he hit enough of it? I think it? he can. Yeah, he has to worry about his cue ball scratching. I think he can shoot it and just shoot it in the side. The cue ball, be very careful. There's a big pocket right there. Well, if that goes, he's going to play it because uh, you can win the game if this goes in. But it's almost like a dead scratch. Strickland so leads four-one. And the race to 11. He might hit this warp speed. Too hard. I don't know if he could cut that one in the side. He can cut this one in the side. Right. He's straight in the corner here. I believe he'll just roll it up. Wow. When you're right, you're right, huh? Strickland looking to go up 5-1. He won the first four games. And now he makes it 5-1 over Efren Reyes in the race to 11 for the U.S. 1997 Open Nine Ball Championship. Pro Billiards Tour Incorporated presents the 1997 U.S. Open Nine Ball Championship. Sponsored by Q-Master Billiards. Brunswick Billiards, world leader in billiards since 1845. And by the Chesapeake Conference Center and the city of Chesapeake. And by Mayuchi, the custom choice of more pros than any other Q. Well, Strickland came up empty on the break, which sends Reyes to the table, but you see the two and the six and the one ball up at the other end of the table, there's not much. You can get rated, you know. The um, number on your screen, 1-888-PRO-POOL. Call, they'll give you the information about the pro rating system. And also, about 1998, the Pro Billiard Tour National Nine Ball League that will be instituted across the country. Well, there's a great safety played by Reyes. He had nothing else he could do, gentlemen. He had no shot, and he managed to nip the one ball and brought that cue ball all the way back down in the corner. Looks like to me Earl might be able to play safe right back. Uh, I think he's going to shoot the ball. Try to cut it in, go up and down. 
He made it. Nice shot. Looked for a moment like he was going to miss it when it started out. And he caught it just right. I believe he snookered here. Yeah. The two ball is there back of the seven. I don't know if he can go in between. Yeah, I guess he can. He can come in there and go in between in the pocket and come out two rails. Well, he's, he's liking to jump the ball. Boy, I'll tell you, this is dangerous here. He could go off the table if he does mm -hmm. that. He, when he jumps this shot, he must hit the ball in the air. No, he's not going to do it. No. Two rails and out. Kick the two up out table by the three. Look oh, at this. Look, nice at the, shot. look at the cue ball. Look at that shot there. Right back of the nine. And Reyes, who hasn't had many makeable, accessible shots here in this match, trailing 5-1, finds himself again in trouble. Well, he could he could kick and hook her own, uh, right back. There's no doubt about that. And try to send the two ball back up table by the seven and eight. Off this rail, booming up. There it is. If it runs into something, he's all right. It did. Beautiful shot. Like into the eight ball. I tell you, it's kind of desperate, though. There's Johnny Archer on the left, one of the great players, and Reed Pierce, the young man who won this event two years ago. Nice, handsome youngster out of Mississippi. And, of course, Johnny Archer, he's a Carolinian now, one-time Georgian. He lives down the Raleigh area. Yeah, they were sitting there interested, wasn't they? They yeah. looked like they was watching pretty good. Yeah, well, the way things have been going for Efren, mm. they were probably nudging one another and saying, I could beat him tonight. Right. He can't make a thing. I could... But Strickland has made it really tough on his ass. These balls, the way they roll sometimes, they can be very difficult on you. Look at the five balls. Got that cue ball again. Well, I tell you, Strickland is really giving a textbook display of great defensive pool. And when given the opportunity, just casually rolls right through the rack, doesn't he? Well, he's a little fortunate there, Nick, don't you think? I, I think he was trying to make the two and get out and shoot the 3-6. Uh, yeah, well, they're definitely uh, uh, rowing kind of Earl's way right now. Uh, Efren's Efren going to have to come here and here or back up here and down like that. really looks like that's about the only way he has to hit the ball. Yeah, well, he don't necessarily even have to hit the two here. Or you're exactly right. And if he goes the way, that second way, two rails, he could scratch in that corner easy. He looks like he may... Uh, What's he going to... He He's going to play some... Trying to go two watch, rails. Watch the cue ball curve. Look at that oh, shot there. Beauty. Look at the cue ball. Unbelievable shot. Wow, I have to clap on that. Unbelievable. Wow. Wow. That was folks, fabulous. Folks at home, you have no idea how good that is. That was... That's the best shot at... I've seen in the whole tournament kicking and return safe. That was fabulous. Well, I'll tell you what, and Earl Strickland turned around. <laughs> I think he overheard us, and he turned around and looked and grinned as if to say, I think you're right. Well, he knows what a great shot is. Yeah, that but was all a great things shot. considered, you're down 5-1, and it's kind of desperate time for you, and still be able to pull off a shot like that. And he Gives hit, you an idea just how good he is. He hit a low-grinding kick mass A curve. Earl's going to try to play the ball back here in the corner of the kick off the seven. Look out, may get a kick. Oh, oh boy, he very almost close. got that. Didn't he? He, he almost got him. that kiss and into the uh, pocket. Watch this again. This is Reyes. Watch the movement on the cue ball. Watch the movement right there. And then back, he hit the right side of the ball and sent the cue ball back down to table. I'm telling you. Three rails, beautifully done. And now he's got a chance to run this rack which he desperately needs to do if he's going to get back into this. He's down 5-1. He's out of position here again. He has a tough situation here. He has to make the three. The four's here. He could carry him off. He could scratch. He could be down here. He can snooker himself behind the five. Very difficult. He really didn't want to run into the six here. These are desperate times for Efren Reyes. A long way from the four ball, but he's got a basically an open shot at it. Got an open shot, but he's got to be uh, careful he didn't get tangled up uh, with that 7-9. Yeah, he's going to hit the 9, I believe. Went look. right between them. Look out. He look missed everything, out. and uh, now he's got a hard shot on the 5. Right. And to get position especially. He's going to have to, what, play in the side, Nicky, and kind of kill it going down? Yeah, he might even try to maybe bump the 6 or bounce off easy. Mm. Yeah. 
Well, that mistake is probably going to send him down 6-1. He got in trouble on the first shot uh, when he didn't get down far right. enough. That 3-6 right. caused all the problems later on. He couldn't uh, recover. Couldn't get position on the 4. That's exactly right. So Strickland now coasting along at 5-1. Three rails and out. One, two, three. Yeah, this game I would suspect would be over. Mm-hmm. Earl wanted me to tell a couple of his uh, sponsors uh, hello for him. Uh, Don Schimmel from JS Sales and uh, the Old House and Pool Table Company, uh, Butch and Donna. Strickland looking to go up 6-1 now. And does just that in the race to 11. Earl Strickland overwhelming. Efren Reyes. The winner gets $25,000 and the runner-up spot will be worth $12,500. And of course for Reyes, one more chance to try to win the U.S. Nine Ball Open Championship. He's done it once before. He's been in the finals four times. Strickland is just overwhelming here so far in the early going. He's up 6-1. So there's the rack, and Earl Strickland with an advantage of 6-1 in the race to 11. He won the first four games. Yeah, that corner ball went straight in, and uh, boy. Look at just nice like parting of the of Red here. Seas, wasn't it? I mean, the wave just came apart. Look at the one ball just sits right there. The cue ball right, looking right dead at it. And the two and the three up there. Nice little roll. He'll come back out underneath the two. No, he's not. Well, he's going to go ahead and shoot. See, I didn't like that shot. He's he is he's not really good position here. I mean, he's probably going to make it, but look. No, he look, isn't. Look. Oh, he oh, did. You what believe that? Bounce. Bounce That's one. a couple of them that he's made. <laughs> wow. Boy, when you're right, you're right. Earl well, wanted me to say hi to everybody in Roseboro, North Carolina, especially his friend Carson Naylor. So. How y'all doing back there? Man on a mission. He's about to go up 7-1. Well, this will be his fourth U.S. Open title, so uh, it's going to put him in the history books for sure. If it's, like, he's already there anyway, but this is really, really a phenomenal here, the way he's playing. Well, then he's gotten every legitimate break you could get. I mean, the last was a perfect example. Makes a ball, and all of a sudden, the one ball just seems to come right up from under the table, right in front of him. He's up 7-1. He won the first four games, and then lost the fifth. That friend Reyes managed to run it out to get his first game, and now Earl Strickland has come back to win games uh, 6, 7, and 8, and he's up 7-1 on the race to 11. There's the mayor of Chesapeake. That's Mr. Um, the Honorable William Ward, mayor of Chesapeake. Well, first I want to welcome the U.S. Nine Ball Championship back to Chesapeake because uh, for three years we did host the Nine Ball Championship here in Chesapeake, and then it took a year off and went to another city. But with the new conference center, Barry Berman wanted to come back to Chesapeake, and uh, this was a tremendous success, the last one, here in 1998. Uh, so we are happy to host the Nine Ball Championship and we hope that we can establish a long uh, term agreement with uh, Barry and the uh, uh, authority that puts that on. You can get rated with the Pro Billiard Tour. Call 1 888 Pro Pool and they will bring you up to date on the national rating system, the Pro Rating System. And of course, you can ask them also about the Pro Billiard Tour National Nine Ball League they're going to institute in 1998. The rating system, it's going to be great. I'm going to tell you that it's been developed and developed and primed and we've got it just now said we've been working on it for 15 years and I'm telling you when it comes out it's going to be a, a universal thing. It's going to be if you don't, if you're not rated it's going to be like you're not playing serious pool so uh, I'm very excited about it and I know all the other players are too. Well, he's up 7-1, and he has pretty well buried uh, the one ball. Yes, and uh, maybe Efren Reyes with it. 
Well, I wouldn't be surprised if Earl comes back to the table and he's snookered here. Underneath, one hit, hit it here, send the cue ball back over here. One will hit the five. Look out. He just came out too Beautiful. far. Yeah, he did, but he still it was did a, well. It was a heck of a try. Yeah, he just came it was. Out a little too far. Yeah. But look, yeah. it looks like he's uh, hooked here. It could be. It'd be interesting to see what, uh, if anything, I can't really tell. Uh, Strickland can do with the cue ball and the one ball. Yeah, he's just going to get a little spin it. on it. Get a little spin. Yeah, you can cheat the pockets now, see. Or Earlier in the week, you couldn't cheat the pockets. The humidity, the cold fronts came in, so uh, the, the pockets are uh, accepting the balls very well. So for Strickland, it continues to be a rosy road. Everything he tries turns out beautifully, and he is uh, looking now to run this rack and go up 8-1 over Efren Reyes. Barry Berman joins us. He's the man responsible for the 22-year run, this being the 22nd year of the U.S. Open Nine Ball Championship. What a magnificent run this tournament has had. It is the longest continuous event on the Pro Billiard Tour. And Barry, uh, great credit to you and all of your people. What another great job you've done. What another good year. Thank you, Tom. I appreciate it. My staff has worked very hard. The uh, convention center in the city just to put all this together. The place is packed. We, it's been a, a great week. It is, and I don't mind telling you that uh, Barry used all of his influence, and it's considerable to uh, get the city of Chesapeake to come up with this new convention center, and what a nice addition it's been. And the people are thoroughly enjoying this tournament. And... Um, Earl Strickland is just having a magnificent run. This is awfully one-sided, Barry. I don't think anybody anticipated this. Did you? Well, Tom, you're right. Uh, let me tell you, the score is 8-1. to one, But, uh, you know, it, anything can happen. You know, listen, Reyes can run five or six racks. At, uh, He's just got to get moment. to the table. But I tell you, Strickland hasn't allowed him there. And when he has, it has been shots that really are almost beyond even the... The magic work that Reyes can come up with. If we take a look at the statistics, uh, Kim, look at that. 67 balls pocketed by Strickland, 13 by Reyes. Balls, missed. Oh, look boy. at balls missed, though. Yeah. Strickland, 5, Reyes, 3. But yet, look at the score. Yeah. And look at the rating, 8-9-3 for Strickland, 6-5-0 for Efren Reyes. And it is 8-1 Strickland. Time eight one is uh, not out of the uh, realm of possibility for Reyes to come back. Uh, we've seen it many times where you know, he, like I said, he could string four or five racks and uh, put a little fear into Earl. Earl and uh, let's well, see, he's missed a couple shots. Here, uh, yes, he has, and now all of a sudden the one ball is sitting there just like a an apple on a low branch and a chance to start something here for Reyes on the way back. Well, I'll tell you, this is uh, cool. a run out, out he should make, Tom. Um, if he gets out here, hey, it could be a new ball game. And yeah. Give him the momentum that he needs. Kim, the table looks good, doesn't it? Yeah, everything's fine here. He just needs to get it really good on the five. I mean, he's going shoot to the, shoot the three back up in the corner. The four is there. He needs to come back down table for the five. And the seven or eight there, just after the five, get position on the six. So I don't see no problem here. Well, I, I would think there's a mental problem. He's got to forget that he's down 8-1 and pretend that it's a one nothing or just the start of this match and go from there. If he lets the fact that he's down 8-1 prey on his mind that he can't afford to make a mistake, etc., mentally it could upset him. But he goes right to the left-handed move here. He is ambidextrous, to be sure. Very good both ways. And we'll see how he did now with the 5. Oh, the 6 got him? No, he's fine. Okay. He's not completely. He's, he wasn't almost fine, Kevin. Yeah. A couple inches or one inch one way or the other. Yeah. But he's all right. He has a chance. And he's got to get... Past that eight for the six. He's done that. He came up a little bit short, though. He would have liked to have been a little further down there. He still should be fine. I, I don't really see no problem. Here. He, he just he seems like he's struggling a little bit, Cam. He's just, you know, I think he's having a hard time getting going, and, you know. Well, that's the truth. Well, Barry, too, uh, in, you know, with all due respect, he finished second two years in a row, and this is going to be the third year he's thinking. I mean, you know, nobody really likes to finish second, but uh, it, it, it all weighs on your mind. Mentally, it's, it's a very tough game. Yeah, this when, is the fourth you know, year he's been in the finals. Right, right, right. He won the fourth first, year in a row. Right, yeah. he won the first uh, year. Yes, he did. He, he beat Nick, mm -hmm. yes, I believe. Did. Yes, and, he did. Uh, and then he, he lost to uh, Reed Pierce, was yeah. it? And then to uh, Rodney Morris. Rodney, Rodney Morris, right. 
And now here he is again, trying to cut that eight well, ball. He won corner. this game, right. and the fans are going to go wild. Well, they're beginning to applaud already. They certainly want to see a very competitive match. See if Reyes can indeed give them that kind of a show. He's down 8-2. So here's Reyes back at the table now for one of his few attempts. Oh, one ball narrowly missed going through. Yeah, nothing ball. went. No, nothing went. I think we're all Two nine. Been. The one ball's just hanging there, ready for Strickland to come to the table. Barry Berman is with us. He's the guiding light, and the local man who just runs everything here in the Chesapeake Norfolk area has three parlors, of course, pools more than just a avocation with the man and this nine ball championship the u.s open is really truly a labor of love i said 180 some players this year and you're headed for 200 or more next year well, as i said earlier tom uh you know it's open <laughs> come on we, <laughs> if you've got a stick and can qualify uh, get here huh? and now that we have a facility to house as many players as necessary mm -hmm. or possible it's fun you know come let's play and let's play for some big money and you know let's get everybody involved and have fun well, I tell you, you couldn't expect much more than an international feel that you had. We had the young guy, Horseful, from Canada out of Vancouver, who played so brilliantly, got to the semifinals. You had an American, of course, that would be uh, Mr. Strickland. You've got two great players out of the Republic of the Philippines, and, and this man here, Reyes, and, of course, the man he defeated in the semifinals, uh, Parika. So it truly is an international event uh, we had players from i think uh, a dozen different countries this year tom and it's just uh i'm elated to, to, to see so many new players from everywhere all over the world here well reyes can't quite seem to get anything going he's down eight two strickland comes back to the table if Earl makes this two ball and gets out uh it, it's going to be tough to come back oh, it will be indeed and he does just that and the free ball up at the other end is sitting there. What kind of position can you get on the four, Kim? I think it's be pretty easy there. He'll just bump up. But the problem is the seven. I don't know if the seven goes by the nine, but pretty, fairly simple combination. Mm -hmm. Five ball back on the other side, the six. Six down in the corner. Should just roll it out one reel. I don't know if the seven uh, goes by or not, Ken. What do you think? I think he's going to have to play a combination. I don't know. Uh, I don't think it goes by. Well, no, I don't think he's going to play a combo from well, that angle. I think it's seven goes, then. Yeah, it? evidently it does. Yeah. Shouldn't yeah. be like that. Yeah. Looking to go up 9 2. Brooklyn just rolling along. Yeah, he's free wheeling. Yeah. That's Earl's game. That's the way he plays. If, he, if, if you allow that opportunity, you're in big trouble. Yep. And there it is, 9-2 Strickland. In fact, he is so anxious to get this over that he just uh, was set to hit that cue ball before it stopped rolling. He was right on top of it, and he has taken an overwhelming advantage. 9-2 over Efren Reyes in the finals of the U.S. Open Nine Ball Championship. We're here in Chesapeake, Virginia. We've been talking with Barry Berman. And, of course, tonight you get to uh, hand out the $25,000. Oh, uh, yeah. Huh? Now, listen, I want to help thank all my sponsors, of course, uh, the PBT, the City of Chesapeake, uh, uh, Camel Pro Bates Tour, Sabonis Cloth. Uh, it, everybody has just done a fabulous uh, job this week, and uh, it's just been great. Well, we thank you. We congratulate you on another great Open Championship and many more to come in the future. And we'll spend some time with you at the presentation ceremony in just a bit. Thank you, Barry. I'll be there. Okay. Thank you, Tom. The um, professional billiard tour is coming up with a pro rating system. The pros have played under this kind of a rating system low these many years, and now they're going to not only have a national nine-ball league across the country, but a pro rating system that will enable amateurs and professionals, no matter how skilled they are, to be classified and put into their very own special category, anywhere from zero to 200 for the novice and on up to the professional and for more information call that number 1-888-PRO-POOL or on the internet you saw that as well Strickland rolling along in magnificent championship form really 
Made another ball. One ball up in the left-hand corner. Up there with the three and the eight. Nine balls out the other end for the two ball wins. This is kind of an overwhelming one-sided affair, and I don't believe anybody here in the convention center anticipated this kind of a match. I think when the week started, they envisioned a matchup between Strickland and Reyes, but I don't think anybody thought it would be this one-sided, and Strickland just appears to be unbeatable. Well, he's definitely uh, putting on a nine-ball clinic tonight on how to run out playing nine ball, huh? Hmm. Boy. He's tough in these finals. Oh, I tell you. When he got the bit in his teeth, he's just off and running with it. I don't believe there's a problem on the table for him, is there? Uh, well, it would have to be the six if there is. Well, well when he plays the six, he's going to have to bump a seven and control it so he can play it in that corner pocket. He made them both. How are you going now, huh? How good are you going when you just want to bump the seven to get another shot and you make them both? He didn't want to make it. Though. I'm sure he didn't. He's got a lot of green between that cue ball and the eight at the other end. But it's not going to bother him the way he's hitting the ball and the way he's playing tonight. He's going to he'd be headed for the hill, and Reyes will be looking at the opposite number on the hill at 10-2. Boy, the Earl of Strickland is off and running. He's back on the Pro Billiard Tour, and I mean in big-time fashion. Look at those numbers. 895 Strickland, 759 for Reyes, who really has not had a chance to play. I think all of us realize just how good a player Reyes is, and he just has an had an opportunity to put his game on display. But right now, Strickland is one more rack away from picking up the 1997 U.S. Open Nine Ball Championship. Well, Earl's showing tonight that uh, if you keep them in the chair, it doesn't matter how good they play. No. Keep them in the chair, they don't even get a chance to tell you how good they can play. Tell you, this TV turns Earl on more than any player I've ever seen. He just jumps up for it. He gets excited. <laughs> it's amazing. That would be Look a the nine ball. He almost made that. Wouldn't that have been a fitting climax? Yes, it would have been. Well, Reyes has a chance at the table with another no shot. Yeah. Like uh, the whole match has been that way. Almost with a whimsical wry smile on his face, Reyes comes to the table knowing that, boy, everything is just uphill and rocky from here. I don't know that he can do much. Well, he can play he the one. He could play the billiard here on the four, but mm -hmm. uh, boy, it's going to be hard to get a shot on the one. He did it. Yeah. Oh, he made them both. both. Made them both. Okay. That's that's a little more effort and style right there. That's wow. how he plays. Well, he has got so much ground to make up. One would assume it's impossible to do it. As we both know, this the scores could have been the same. It could have been ten to Reyes. Right now, it just so happened that. Uh, Earl started early and uh, kept it going. As hot yeah, as the depot stove, really. Yeah, Earl's really kept the momentum going, hadn't he, tonight? Yep. Crowd is almost uh, dead silent as Reyes is trying to run this rack. Closed to 10 3. Seven ball in the corner. Beautifully played position, gentlemen, huh? Yeah, just come off the rail, a little bump, and uh, shoot the nine on the side. And... Mm -hmm. Beautifully done. It may be, you know, too little, too late, but it was a beautiful exhibition of fine pool by Efren Reyes. It is 10-3 in this race to 11, and Efren Reyes has got a long way to climb back into this one. He is not without the ability or the talent to do that, but he would have to have everything break his way 
as it has for the most part for Strickland throughout the first 13 games. The um, professional billiard tour is coming up with a pro rating system. The pros have played under this kind of a rating system low these many years, and now they're going to not only have a national nine-ball league across the country, but a pro rating system that will enable amateurs and professionals, no matter how skilled they are, to be classified and put into their very own special category, anywhere from zero to 200 for the novice and on up to the professional. And for more information, call that number, 1-888-PRO-POOL, or on the Internet. You saw that as well. We asked Pat Fleming of Pro Stats how these figures will be utilized for both the professional and the amateur players. Well, the Pro Tour rating, uh, I guess, establishes a batting average, if you will, for everybody who plays pool, whether they're on the amateur level or the pro level. And you can uh, compare your rating with other ratings, the pros, amateurs, and uh, anybody in the world. How will that change the game? Well, right now it's very difficult to rate players. Uh, you really just have to go by the way they look and how they play. Uh, but this establishes a number so that you can uh, categorize players in different fields so that they play among players of their own skill level. Well, he's got to begin with making a ball on this break. Yeah, with Strickland on the hill, it's almost, uh, you've got to keep him sitting in that chair over there or right. any opportunity he's going to close this match. I was, I was talking to Earl earlier today, and he says, you know, this is where I belong, out here with the greatest players in the world on professional Blazers tour, playing pool. Well, Reyes is without a ball. No, he made a ball. No, he made I'm one. sorry, yes, he did make one. I'm I, Scott I, yeah. walked across the front of him, I was looking at him. and It's going to be 10 to 4 here. Yeah, the one ball sitting right dead in the middle, two well, ball. How about you know. the five and the six? Is he's, that a problem? He's fine. He's All right. fine. Okay. Yeah. Everything's pretty well stop, stop, stop. Until he gets to the four, and then he'll have to get pretty good. He wants to get the cue about where he's out there with the five, maybe a little lower down the table. It's a little easier to shoot now. I mean, it's 10 to 4, you know, hey, what the heck, you know. You mean he has everything to win, yeah, nothing to you lose. Know, just it's... let it go ahead and flow and, you know, mm -hmm. see everything's kind of just coming into place perfect, so. Almost a fait accompli by now. Any comeback of any sort would be a, an amazing thing for Reyes. I don't even, he, I think he can shoot the ball straight on and it'll go off the 6. It looks like it, uh, any time it's dissected there, right to the pocket, you can see the frozen line in between it. Oh, missed he it. missed that ball. Oh, well, I guess maybe he just couldn't overcome it. Well, Earl have a problem with the five or is it a little bit cue ball clear the snookered a little bit. He might just a little mass A, come back around, a little curve. Oh, oh, they got the double kiss. Got the kiss. <laughs> well, when you're right, you're right, huh? When you're right, you're right. Everything has gone his way, but he's played awful well, though. Yes, he has, but uh, he's gotten... All of the breaks. Right, he's just going to cut this in the uh, corner pocket, I believe, go two rows underneath the seven. And uh, Boy, the pockets have been big and accommodating for him tonight, haven't mm -hmm. they? Hmm? Yes, they have. Well, he's definitely putting them in. He's uh, really played great tonight. Uh, and there's a case in point. You see that ball kind of almost hang there? It just wobbled about and down it went. Well, the seven, crowd in anticipation that he's going to close it out here. And now back for good position on the eight ball. And Reyes might very well start to unscrew his cue. Yeah, it's all over. It is all over. The crowd begins to warm to the applause. And there you have it. 11-3, an overwhelming win for Strickland as he just dominated this championship. He's back on the Pro Billiard Tour winning the 1997 U.S. Open nine ball championship in America, America, the USA, USA, yeah. America. Unbelievable offensive display by Strickland, who just took charge tonight. That's his fourth, he's signaling, U.S. Open championship, number four. Five times he's been the world champ. He quite possibly is the very best player in the world.
Well, right now he is. There's no doubt about that. He certainly was denied. He played a marvelous match. He did indeed, and um, if luck played any part at all, he got a lot of it, but he made every shot that he had to make, and some that almost defied description by my two experts, Nick Varner and Kim Davenport. We'll be back with more. We've got the trophy and the check presentation, a chance to visit with Earl, so stay tuned. The U.S. Open Nine Ball Championship. Strickland wins it for the fourth time in his brilliant career. Pro Billiards Tour Incorporated presents the 1997 U.S. Open Nine Ball Championship. Sponsored by Q-Master Billiards. Brunswick Billiards, world leader in billiards since 1845. And by the Chesapeake Conference Center and the city of Chesapeake. And by Mayuchi, the custom choice of more pros than any other cue. Well, it's all over but the shouting. What an impressive victory for Earl Strickland, 11-3, to win his fourth U.S. Open Nine Ball Championship. And Barry Berman, who's been the major domo behind this, and this is the 22nd year of this magnificent tournament, the longest running one on the Pro Billiard Tour. This check's as big as you are. I wish you were giving it to me. What about this check? Hey, it's 25000 and I'm sure Earl's going to spend, and his wife's going to spend every dime of it, uh, enjoying and savoring the moment. I'd like to thank my sponsors, of course, Q-Master Billiards, Brunswick Billiards, and the city of Chesapeake, as well as other sponsors that have helped with this event, Tom. Well, it's been a magnificent event. The gentleman behind me is Mr. Don Mackey, Commissioner of the Pro Billiard Tour. The biggest open of its kind. The biggest, the best ever, and uh, hopefully next year we'll be back with 280 players. And it had a great international flavor, as you saw in the semifinals, and this is final event. And Earl Strickland was never better. I, you were just literally awesome in winning your fourth U.S. Open title. Well, uh, Kim mentioned, uh, you know, get out of the gate quick. Uh, you might have a chance with him, and uh, I opened with a two, and then uh, I think a safety, and... Uh, Oh, he made a mistake, snookered himself, opened up, got a four-game lead. Right. I think that was, that was the key to it. It was 4-1, and then it was bingo, four more to make it 8-1, and it was all over but the handwriting on the wall, and you played just brilliantly. We were talking about Lady Luck always takes a hand, but every time you had to make a shot, Earl, you made it. Well, uh, just don't forget the fact that the balls did roll uh, good for me. But uh, there, you're right. I made good, uh, consistent outs. Uh, not too many misses. I think that's the less I missed in the whole tournament. So that's a key right there. And you know, as this game and this match rolled along, you could see the intensity building in you. You really wanted this one, number four. I could see that you wanted it probably as much as you ever, ever wanted to win before. Well, you know, you never know when you'll get this opportunity again, Tom. And I want to take advantage of it. I want to, I want to set records that people want to, want to try to break one day, like Ben Hogan did and Goff and Jack Nicklaus. I want to set records that maybe can't be broken. Well, I don't know if this one can be broken. I'll, I'll be honest with you. I don't either. You've won it four times, world champion five times. Let me move over on this side because there's a guy standing here from Kentucky who won it back to back and he knows the thrills that you're see uh, feeling right now about winning this U.S. Open. Nick Varner, there's no thrill quite like it, is there, Nick? No, especially when you play like Earl did tonight. He was at the top of his game, and he got the momentum right out of the gate. Like he said, he opened up with a couple racks, and he never looked back. And uh, it was just a great uh, display of, a, he put on a nine ball clinic on how to run out playing nine ball tonight. You know, the best pool players in the world are on this pro billiard tour. And now that Earl Strickland is back, Kim Davenport, they've got another guy to shoot at. This is indeed going to be even tougher and tougher week in and week out. Well, it's, I think it's just tremendous. Earl's back playing with us. I mean, me and Earl have been playing through the years. We played in the finals four or five times. And uh, I just want to ask you, when it was four to nothing, and you, was, you, you seemed like you was playing flawless, and then you said something to Scott, and then you shot a ball and missed it, and then the, you, you had missed again that same match. Was there something there that... Uh... Hold it just a second. Go ahead now. I made a shot. I kicked the one on the side, but I'm a fast player, and the crowd still hadn't calmed down, so I probably should have went in and shot the shot. My, my fault. <laughs> He's not only a great player, he is an awfully quick player. Well, all I can say is that the Pro Billiard Tour welcomes you back, Earl Strickland. You're just another star and a whole galaxy of stars for this tour. And I look forward to watching you play and your fans for many, many years to come. Congratulations again on number four and the very best I just, in the future. I'd like to thank some of my sponsors, uh, Olhausen and uh, JSL's uh, 
they've done a wonderful job for me in getting me to these events and sponsoring me. And uh, I look forward to having a long relationship with them. And we gave the Elks Club a little plug back there, too. Right. So you're safe to go They'll home. They'll love me at the Elks Club. Out again. <laughs> Congratulations again. I'm an Elk. <laughs> Indeed, he is. He's also the 1997 U.S. Open nine ball champion for the fourth time in his magnificent career.